Hey guys, if you like what I do here, make sure you and don't forget to click the Last video I asked you subscribers to name this character and the winners are Cameron with T-Fake, that guy who likes Legos with Little Fig, and the winner of all winners, Topher Orr with Little Bricky. Here's a huge thumbs up that goes out to you guys. Thank you so much for watching Toy Gander. Now I've reviewed several custom Predator minifigures before. The one right here I've already done a video on and the base is from Engineer. Yo, make sure you check him out on his eBay shop. He does some fantastic customs. So make sure you check them out right there. I'll put a link in the description. But he made the actual custom printed base for this. And the really cool part to this one is Brick Predator. He made this fantastic metal custom Lego minifigure accessories. These things are just off the charts. The best customs I've seen out on the market. And the guy is super cool guy. So make sure you check him out. Also follow him on his Instagram. His Instagram is Brick Predator. And it came in this one right here. I mean just so cool all the different intricate pieces and honestly uh, there's there's no quality out there that even comes close to this so and if you're interested in the other review I'll put a link to that in the description but let's get into the new characters minifigure number one can already see your response in the comments below. But Toy Gander, that's not a Predator. That's not even a real Lego minifigure. Here, uh, you're right. It, it's not. But I thought it was cool. And, you know, Predator's got to fight something. He's got to fight a good old Xenomorph. Now, this figure is actually, it is a knockoff. I don't know who originally created this, but it's honestly a fantastic design. One thing that's unique about this is he actually comes with a, a mouthpiece that you can open and close. I mean, how cool is that? And it actually sticks pretty good, so I give him an A for effort on that. Um, just as far as the overall torso feels, it looks a little congested up top, like he's like shrugging his shoulders or something. Other than that, I kind of like the skeleton build. These are Darth Maul legs, which looks pretty good. I did another one of this with it has like a minifigure form and not the skeleton form, and it was okay. I think this just takes it to the next level. I kind of like it. Let's move on to the next one. Minifigure number two. This is a custom knockoff minifigure of Predator and some good things and some bad things. The printing's okay. It looks a little muddied in the front here, like the blacks and the grays all kind of blend together. Just, it, it could be a little bit more vibrant and they could take out some of the detail just to make it stand out more. The side printing, I'm really impressed with this thing having 360 degree printing, which you don't normally see within these knockoffs. The back looks really good though, with all the fish netting and the back torso. The part for me that this, that's really the most impressive is Lego doesn't make anything close enough to a Predator. So they did ultimately what you have to do, and that's create a custom mold which looks pretty good. This is a custom a shoulder mount with the shoulder cannon right here. I like that. I like the fact that they came with these two wrist blades even though Predator only has one. And the head is convincing enough to make me believe that it's Predator. The dreadlocks kind of form right into the skull which looks a little bit weird but it's it's honestly it's okay for what it is. Now let's get to what you guys all came for. This is the package that was sent to me by Brick Predator and I have to say it again the level of detail that he puts into it to create like an all-encompassing design is really impressive and I, kudos goes out to him for that. And you can kind of see the difference between these two. This is the original one for the original Predator or Jungle Predator. And this is the one for the Berserker Predator. So let's go ahead and open this up. Here's a couple things right here that looks like the jaw piece. This is a sweet looking design we got to get into. This is the shoulder mount and the shoulder piece which is custom to the Berserker. Here's his wrist blade which looks super sharp. If it's anything like the older one, this thing is dangerously sharp. Here's the Gatling gun shoulder cannon, which I'm excited to put on. And then the creme de la creme. Dun, 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 dun. That sweet looking mask. Now let's see it all on the Predator. I cannot believe the amount of detail that Brick Predator created in this Berserker Predator custom minifig. This is absolutely fantastic. And let, let's just kind of deconstruct this whole thing. 
The first thing I want to look at, let's look at the Shuriken. I don't, like each one of these little spikes on here is incredibly sharp. Ow! Ow! Look at this wrist blade. Now one thing unique about the wrist blade for Berserker Predator, he doesn't have two, he has one, and it's extremely long. And this thing is legitimately, this is a shank. Somebody will mess you up with this. So sharp on the end, you really have to be careful with that thing but it does represent the actual character. I love the shoulder. Like, look at the skull that's in, embedded into the shoulder, um, the shoulder mount right there, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Kudos goes out to him to getting that so much detail in there. Now, one thing you're probably noticing is the color of this Predator. He has a different color mask and shoulder print than the regular Predator. Like this, you'll see that it's very um, shiny, it's very metallic. This is a black metal, and he was also known as Mr. Black Predator or Black Predator. I don't know. I have no idea how he created this. I mean, just creating this custom metal in this minifigure form, some type of magic for sure. Another piece that's interesting is this custom printed or custom molded jaw piece. It came with two, which is really impressive, but... I, I probably am going to try and paint this just to give it a little bit more grit. Make it look like the actual pred Predator. The form is really there. It looks identical. It just needs to kind of be dirtied up a little bit. All these individual braids on here. I mean, how would you... I don't even understand how you could put all these individual braids on each one of these things. This, again, is, is just a piece of art. This is care and effort that's taken into creating this thing. And honestly, it's really impressive. Same thing with the shoulder cannon. He has a unique shoulder cannon. You'll see the difference in between these two. This shoulder cannon is just one, kind of like a one straightforward shot to where the Berserker Predator, a lot of people think he's stronger. He has a Gatling gun type um, plasma shooter or shoulder cannon on him, which is really impressive. And I like the fact that it's a little bit sleeker and just looks a little bit meaner than uh, the traditional Predator. I need the top three subscribers to tell me which Predator would win in a fight. Would it be the Berserker Predator or would it be the traditional Predator? You guys tell me in the comments below I'm gonna pick the top three subscribers with the most convincing story on why they would win and I will give you guys a shout out in the next video I do that's what we have for today I want to give a huge shout out to Brick Predator again I mean if you guys want to get one of these make sure you follow him on Instagram send him a message and tell him exactly which one you're interested in he'll walk you through it and he'll tell you exactly how much it costs but big shout out goes out to him and guys until next time you can help us Take a gander. Wait, 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 before you click away, why don't you click one of these other Toy Gander videos? If you like this one, you're definitely gonna like these. And don't forget to subscribe because I upload twice a week, one on Wednesday, one on Saturdays, and you don't wanna miss out on what I upload next.